Hey students, we've made it pretty far in our GIMP project so far, and we've done pretty well putting together our portfolios. So now what I want us to do is I'd like us to um, make a composition to put into our portfolios using the tools that we've learned to this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make this composition. I'm going to do it in two parts. The first part, we're going to be finding a background. Then we're just going to be looking for objects to put onto our background. In the second part, I'm going to be showing you how to go and make things a little more realistic looking. And um, some final finishing touches that you can do to make this really look good and look convincing to people. Um, even though it's going to be a kind of a fantastic scene. So let's get to it. The first thing that I'm going to do, you'll see that I have GIMP open here. And I want to go online. And while I'm online, what I'd like to do is find a picture to use. So any picture is OK. Um, I'm going to go to Google Images. However, when you create this, you're going to want your picture to be some sort of outdoor scene. That's going to make this the easiest for you. So um, for this, I'm going to do a picture of a Mars landscape. And you can see we end up with a bunch of pictures of uh, different things on a Martian landscape. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a look, scroll through here. This one looks pretty good. Now, as you scroll through it, take a look at the resolution. You don't want something that's too small when you go and uh, use your, this for your resolution. So um, if it's too small, what's going to happen is it's going to get really pixely and that kind of stuff if we decide to blow it up. It's always better to go bigger, and we can shrink it down if we need to, than trying to go smaller and trying to expand if we need to. That ends up giving us some problems. So this Martian landscape looks pretty good. I'm going to click on it. I also want to click on uh, full-size image. So this is what I'm going to be saving to use. Okay, so I'm going to right-click this. I'm going to save picture as. I'm going to find a good folder for it. Okay, I've got it here in pictures, and I'm going to call this Mars Landscape. It's good to, uh, to save this as a JPEG for now. It may lose a little bit of resolution, but for a project like this, it's it's fine if it loses just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hit save. And now that should be saved. So uh, please pause the movie right now and find yourself a picture that you'd like to use. And then we'll go on to the next step. So you have your background, and obviously the next thing we're going to want to do is to put some objects into these backgrounds. Now again, these should be real life or real life-ish objects. They do not have to necessarily be realistic. For example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my Mars landscape, and instead I'm going to type in Gigan, who is a character from the Godzilla movies. Now when I go into here, I've got all kinds of Gigan images, but I don't want to take something that's too small. For example, um, if I went into something like this, uh, 362, well that's not great either because it's got um, text in it, it's got a watermark, alright? But you know, you don't want something that's really, really tiny because that's going to give us a hard time. So when I look for these, I want to consider what the size of the object is, I want to make sure it's not cartoony, like this one, and I also want to make sure that it's not cut off anywhere. Like this might be a really nice picture, however he's cut off at the waist, so unless I'm going to be putting him down all the way at the bottom of the picture, I can't really use that because it's not going to end up looking good once I put it in. You can also see the ends of his arms have the same problem, they're cut off at the edges. So when you select a picture, you want to make sure that you're taking something that's usable. Okay, this is a full picture that uh, nothing is cut off and that you can, it's a realistic picture, you can use it. So let's take a look here. Out of all of these, how big is this one? 371 by 405. Yeah, that's, that's probably an okay size. I'm going to grab the full size image again, right click it, save the picture as. I'm going to call it Geigen, save it in my pictures library, hit save and I will then have my picture, okay? So um, let's have Geigen on the Martian landscape, and we'll also have, let's say, UFO. Okay, and we'll see what we can get here for this one. That looks kind of cool, 400 by 300, that's probably fine. I'm going to take my full-size image, right-click it, save it as, save it as UFO. I don't want it as a GIF. Actually, I guess it's not the end of the world. I'm going to save it as a GIF. Okay. So please do that now. Please find uh, three images that you would like to put into this. Once you have found the three images, you can start the video back up again. And then I will show you how to put these together and how to start erasing it and making it look good. So 
So once you've gotten to the point that you are comfortable with the three pictures that you have and you have a background, we want to start putting this together as the composition. Now when you open up GIMP, it's possible that some of your windows might not be there. Okay, if they're not, it's totally fine. Go into the Windows menu and you go to Recently Closed Docs and you can get the layers, channels, and paths back. And you can also get the toolbox back. Okay, so those are the easiest ways if something has gone wrong. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, I'm going to open my background image first, which is the Martian landscape, and I'm going to hit open. So you'll see that I've got my Martian landscape in here and it's all looking very good and everything else. Uh, however, I'm going to want to open the other files as well. Okay, so I'm going to go into open again. I'm going to open my Geigen file. So I've got him over here. And I'm also going to open my UFO. Now, you all are going to have more than two images. I'm just doing two because I'm going to, you know, put this together kind of quickly. But you all want to make sure that you open up all three of your images. And then we are going to take these and we are going to open them and uh, get them onto the Martian landscape. Okay? Now, there's a few different ways to do this. I can edit and I can copy this image. I can then go into here and edit and paste it as a new layer. Very important that we paste these as new layers. Okay, we don't want to um, paste it as a new image because it just keeps making copies of the same image over and over again. I can right click and go to edit, copy. And I can right click and go to edit, paste as, new layer. So I now have my two images that I want to use here and they're both as new layers. Now if these backgrounds were flat white or flat black you could very easily remove them by uh, using the magic wand selector and then hitting delete and getting rid of that entire section but since these have gradients it's much harder for us to do that so we're gonna have to go and erase all around the edges. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit into here and I also want to make sure that I've got the proper layer selected before I erase. For example, if I clicked on the Geigen layer over here, and then I went and took my eraser, I'm going to say, hey, why isn't this erasing anything? And the reason why it's not erasing anything is because I'm not on that layer. Okay, so it only works on the layer you have selected. So let me select the layer with the UFO, and then I can go in and start to erase the background on this. Now, what you can do if you're unhappy with this kind of halo that's being left around the brush is you can go and select a harder brush in here. So you can see there's all different kinds of brushes with all different kinds of opacities. This is a very mellow brush, okay? This one in here is a very solid one. So if I wanted to go in here and get around the edges a little better, I could do that and be sure that I don't have any kind of ghosty, um, wispy halo around the edge. So I'll end up with a very hard edge. Now, eventually, we're going to go in and clean this up, okay? But for now, what you want to do is just kind of zoom in. Don't zoom in that much. I'm going to zoom out a bit. And you want to try to get this edge the best that you can. Let me zoom in a bit again. Back to my eraser. I'm going to take my eraser size down. Let's take it down to 20. That's a little better. So I can go in using the zoom tool and using the eraser and really make sure I get around this edge. Okay. So what you can do is clean up the edge of this. And once you get to that point, um, you should end up with both your objects, or all, I'm sorry, all three of your objects with a nice clean edge around everything. And um, once you get to the point that all three of those objects have a clean edge, please check out the other video. And I will show you a couple finishing touches you can throw on to make this a little more realistic. And, uh, you know, also to kind of uh, spice it up a little, make it a little better. Okay?